Squatch, squatch, tell me where you at, your motivation guy is back, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen here to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to make you the best Fortnite player you could possibly be. All right, so the preseason is finally over. This means that your arena points have been reset to zero and cash cuts are quickly approaching. So if you're like anybody else, like you want to hit the champions division as quickly and painlessly as possible. And so by the end of this video, guys, you're going to have all the tools necessary to make that happen. But before we do, it's time to get my favorite candy. What is it, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Yo, and let's get this going. All right, so before we set you guys right on track to hit the champions division, we first need to take a look at the scoring system that is currently being used. You know, it's no question that Epic has been trying to make ranking up harder than it has been in the past. And so with the recent change making it possible for you to, you know, derank or fall out of the division you're currently in, you know, you'll have no room to mess around and really just be required to take all your matches seriously. And on top of this, you also need to reach 7,500 points instead of the typical 6,000 to reach the champions division. This is gonna require some extra grinding and consistency to make sure that you don't come up short. For solos, when you start off in the open division, each elimination is gonna grant you guys 20 points. And so once you reach the contender division, you're gonna earn a little less, only just gaining 15 per elimination. In the duos open division, you're gonna earn the same 20 points as you would in solos. But once you hit contenders, you're gonna be only gaining 10 points per elimination. Lastly, in open division, trios, you're gonna gain 15 points per limb and 10 once you reach contenders. As far as placement points go, there is a total of 180 85 points you can possibly gain across all three modes and since 135 of these points can only be earned after the top five threshold elimination points are really what's going to make or break your arena progression all right, so if you're struggling arena, then we might have something perfect for you to help you improve. The legendary pro, Benji Fishy, is gonna run an exclusive pro guys bootcamp. All right, so you wanna play with a Fortnite pro legend, click the link now below to learn more. All right, guys, so if you've been keeping up with the top arena grinders like Claw and Bronos, like, you're gonna notice that they will almost exclusively play Trios. This is because Trios is by far the easiest mode to steadily gain points. Not only is Trios the easiest mode to earn placement points in, it's also much easier to consistently frag out. You see, in Trios, every division past Contenders 1 will reward 10 points per elimination. With this being the same as duels and only 5 less than solos, it becomes transparent that Trios is the way to go. It becomes significantly easier to rack up high points of eliminations the more people that are fighting on each team. You know, top trio arena teams will be able to consistently drop 30 bomb wins or higher, while these same advanced players will struggle to drop more than 10 kills in a solo match. And so this is the case for a few reasons, all right? First off, it seems like in solos, the players are just trying a lot harder and are just overall better fighters. This makes it difficult to avoid third parties and really finish the fights quickly. Solos are going to require your fights to be a lot more calculated in comparison to trios where the environment is more laid back and chill. Like, you can wipe a trio with minimum effort as long as your team is somewhat coordinated and is just attacking from different angles strategically right not to mention that in trios even if one or two of your teammates gets knocked it's still relatively easy for a decent fighter to just clutch up and just stick the reboot and, and just really just keep you guys in the game and just avoiding additional bus fare and so with all this being said we strongly recommend that your guys are finding a solid trio that you can just grind and rank up with but, you know, if you're unable to find a consistent trio, duels is still a great option, but it's slightly less rewarding. All right, guys, it's the question of the day. Today, I want to know what rank you usually get to in Fortnite, and how long does it take for you to get there? Let us know your rank down below, and we're going to respond to some of your responses. All right, so the open league is from zero to 2,000 points, and it shouldn't be a huge struggle to really plow through. From opens one to three, there will be no bus fare deducted for each match. And in opens four, only 10 points will be taken. This means that you can really play however you want without being punished. It just comes down to, you know, how long it takes you to break past the 2,000 point mark. We recommend that you play the open divisions very aggressively, and so this means that you want to be hot dropping whenever you can, as well as W keying basically everybody in sight. You know, like we mentioned before, you're going to be taking only zero or 10 bus fare so that means you're not going to be setting yourself back from dying over and over and since eliminations are very rewarding at this stage racking up as many kills as you can possibly get in each game is what's going to send you to the contenders league the fastest you know even if you're not so great of a fighter avoiding engagements to play for placement points is only going to waste your time and really hurt you once you reach higher divisions like you should use the open league as a place to really tweak your fighting skills and really improve you know if you stay at the same fighting ability as you rank up to contenders you're going to find yourself getting destroyed by a majority of your opponents and you're likely going to end up de-ranking anyways. 
All right, so once you made your way through the Opens League, it's time for the most challenging part, guys, grinding through Contenders Division 5, 6, and 7. These divisions start at points 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, and finally, ending at 7,500 points where you're gonna be able to reach the Champions League and you're gonna be eligible to compete in cash prize tournaments with the other top tier players. The Contenders League is definitely where a majority of players tend to hit a roadblock, getting frustrated with themselves, being unable to consistently gain points. The Contenders League is just much less forgiving and it's gonna require you guys to play consistently if you want to avoid the ranking. All right, so for contenders five and six, you're gonna be deducted 20 and 30 bus fare each match respectively, and division seven is gonna take a whopping 50 points. This means you're gonna have no room to waste any matches and you're gonna need to play consistently in order to keep ranking up. All right, so the best way to consistently gain points is by landing at a drop that, you know, might be contested by one or two other teams that you can confidently just win more often than not. And so this is gonna put you in this position where you're gonna have a few elimination points on your belt off spawn to cover the bus fare as well as a decent loadout to play the remainder of the match with you know and so after you made it out of your drop the way in which you should play next is going to really come down to how strong of fighters that you guys are and your teammates are like if you guys are pretty solid fighters that won't die too much playing with the w key mentality is most likely your best bet like we mentioned before guys elimination points are what can really make or break your arena experience a top five placement with zero kills is equivalent of a nine kill game without receiving any placement points this means you could kill only three trios off spawn in under five minutes and get the same results as a 15 minute match where you're just hiding for placement. On the other hand, like if your trio isn't the greatest at fighting, you're gonna need to play a bit more low key. But just because you're playing on the safe side, does not mean that you're going to be just avoiding all fights. Like you should opt to play on the dead side of the zone for the majority of the match, you know, trying to draw as little attention to your team as you possibly can. Like your main goal should just be to look for fights where you can just have the upper hand. Lining up a three, two, one spray to beam, or even just kill one of the opposing team members is just a great way to initiate a fight that you have a solid chance of winning. Like you just wanna make sure guys that, you know, there just aren't any other teams lurking nearby that could easily third party you guys. It's just very difficult to consistently gain points in the Contenders League if if you're just strictly playing for placement, right? Like sure, you can gain some decent points by getting a top three placement, but if you aren't doing this in four out of five matches, the bus fare is gonna catch up with you guys and cancel out all the points you just gained, especially once you're taking a 50 bus fare. You know, one thing that a majority of players don't realize when trying to reach the Champions League is how the queues work. Once you're past 5,000 points, if there aren't enough players in your same division to fill the lobby, then you're gonna be placed in a Champions League game. This means that the players are gonna be better at fighting and don't really care as much about the outcome of their actions. You could potentially get griefed by players who have nothing to lose since they're already in champs and are just playing arena for some fighting practice. This is usually, you know, only an issue once it gets later in the season since most of the people trying to hit champs have already done so. So leaving only a small amount of contender seven grinders to be filled in with the Champions League players. And so the quicker that you can grind through Contenders League, the easier it's gonna be. You know, it's just never a good feeling knowing that you still have some points to gain only a few days before a tournament. Bunch of course, tell me where you watch some innovation, guys, back. Hey, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below. Let us know what you would feel more interested in learning more about, all right? Um, you know, reaching the Champions League can be a very stressful journey, but in very, it's very rewarding once you finally make it. So if you use the tips that we showed you in this video, you're going to be competing in cash prize tournaments in no time. Make sure to connect with me on my Instagram at yourmotivationguy. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.